I'm putting my two fingers in and this is something Helen that you should be doing as well so we're putting the pressure on the lymph nodes and then we're bending and straightening the elbow and I think another one that we really encourage is making a fist opening and closing and just watch that fluid move so you can see it up here can you see it tracking it's just moving along I'm not doing anything Helen's doing this I think it's such a visual thing that you're more likely to do it they can physically wear a sleeve they can feel it's doing something but then when we teach the massage they might think oh, okay then well how's that going to help me Have you ever wondered if the exercise and massaging you do to manage your lymphedema actually works? Well, now we can show you that it does. Specialists in lymphedema care are excited about new scanning technology that can show what's going on under your skin. Your experience over the decades has shown you that's what works. The difference is now that some of these imaging techniques are showing you why and what it does, what your fingers are doing. We haven't got access to video fluoroscopy in my clinic and it's great to be able to actually be able to see as you put hands on what the lymphatics, what's happening in the lymphatics. There are therapies that we've been doing for decades now where we, we have seen some difference, we can feel the difference underneath our hands, the patients report a difference. So we know before the theory of it but actually being able to watch it on the screen is um, amazing. Macmillan Lymphedema Association specialists from all over the UK meet every year to share research and apply the latest thinking about their practice and teaching of MLD. Today they're working with some patients who are eager to see their own lymphatic system for the first time. Sean's arm started swelling 20 years ago. Hannah's had swelling in one of her legs since she was five. And Helen has had lymphedema in her arm for the last four years. Hi Helen, if you'd like to come through. Thank you. Come on in. So as we explained earlier, we're going to do some scanning with you today. Yeah. And to see these patients' lymphatics, dye needs to be injected. Because our lymphatics are our waste disposal system, collecting all the rubbish and toxins we need to get rid of, they will quickly get to work on the dye to remove it. And that's what we should see. The dye showing up in the tiny lymphatic channels just below the surface and being moved along through the system. So where she's just yes. touching now, that's where the injection went in and that's the reflective part of what she's injected. Oh and she's just in front of her finger now. Yeah, the that's lymph, amazing. The lymph is oh just gosh. going into the vessel. Yeah. And up through the tube, all the way up your forearm. Fantastic. So that's what we're all doing naturally all the time. And of course we're, we're scanning very, very superficially here, so it's literally just underneath the skin. If you can actually get the superficial lymphatics to pick up that fluid, they're then joined to the larger vessels, it acts almost like a shunting. It's a little bit like a train and, and the engine at the front. If you move the engine, the rest of it will move along as well. So we're right on your swollen arm now. There are sort of blobs of white further down near the finger, the opposite direction, rather than up the arm. There's a bit coming down the arm. So you can see, Hannah, when you're massaging, what's yeah. actually happening. Now watch here, watch the screen. I'm just gonna touch that. You see, how cool yeah. is that? Normally, when we take a deep breath or when we squeeze a muscle hard, it increases the pressure in the area there. And then as you let that air out or relax the muscle, the pressure reduces again and it produces a sort of pumping effect of pressures. And normally, that would be enough to help those lymphatics along to drain and clear the area. And because the lymphatics are affected by whatever reason, those tissue pressures on their own, just with normal everyday activities, isn't enough. So all we're doing is supplementing the body's natural way of dealing with this. And movement is absolutely key to doing that. Exercise is so vital with MLD, it's got to be a part of it. And when we think about self-management, patients can't all have these scans, they can't all have MLD all the time. But what they can do is they can move their bodies in a physiological way to improve lymph flow. 
is what the patient is able to do for themselves. So as well as us doing the MRD for the patient or to the patient as a treatment, it's them doing their exercise. I like to think of the five-minute opportunities that we have during everyday life while the kettle's boiling. We saw Helen doing a hand-gripping and opening exercise, pumping the lymph fluid through the lymphatic channels. So that's a, an activity that can easily be incorporated. You flick the kettle on, you put your tea bag in, and you think, ten pumps of the hand. Do the clenching and stretching that you were doing before now, and let's see if it changes the spread of the dye. So it's moved up yeah. there, yeah. definitely, yeah. hasn't it, now? Across and out. OK. Across and out. So again, this movement, really good, because as well as the massage, you are doing the movement as well. And that's the whole ethos now of the Casely Smith technique. Casely Smith focuses on the whole approach, but more on movement, more on breathing. So it's I suppose it's more that the patient can do it themselves. So they haven't got to keep coming back to the hospital all the time. It's promoting self-care for them. With just a gentle touch, you can see how the dye shoots up those channels. When a patient first comes to see us, we start with the four basic care, which is your skin, which is your movement, which is the compression, which is the simple lymph drainage. So what they do themselves for self-care. But if the arm or the legs get bigger, if the swelling comes in the head and neck or in the trunk, then we know we've got to do more intensive work, which is the MLD. And so it's prioritised for those patients who really need it. Another reason when um, MLD becomes quite important is if somebody does have very firm tissues or their um, limb has changed shape, it's very good at softening <laughs> tissues. So we know for Shan that this isn't stage zero or stage one lymphedema. She's in the second, third stage. It's been a long time and it's quite firm. It doesn't change very much. That's right. So we know that there's uh, what we call fibrosis under there, which is a term you've heard but used yes, before, yes. isn't it? It's a chronic condition that patients have to live with. It's a hard condition to live with. It's often misunderstood. It's often not recognised. And we understand there's lots that can be done to help them. So, yeah, we're very passionate about it. <laughs> Whether you can manage most of your care yourself with massage and exercise at home or need the extra support of MLD in clinic, remember, if you move, your lymph moves. I think Mel and Cheryl were uh, mm -hmm. examining your leg mm. because of the improvement. <laughs> <laughs> now, I couldn't wait any longer. I had to have a feel so of this what's leg. What's been the change that's actually made this difference? We've encouraged Hannah to get onto the trampoline and we taught her to massage her leg in a very specific way. And she's doing that religiously, and the difference in a month has been Amazing. phenomenal. You didn't have an ankle yes, at all. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And That's this good. was probably yeah. like this. Her knee was, was so solid. swollen and it so. was rock hard. Yeah. You know, it was rock hard. Yeah. And this is just so different. Yeah. 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 Yeah.